Michael Evis, 87, opened up about his latest project just days before the start of Glastonbury Festival on Tuesday, 20th of June. The show founder, who first launched the five-day event at Worthy Farm in 1970, sparked concern among social media users. Fans of the much-loved Somerset-born entrepreneur were concerned after photographs showed him in a wheelchair. It comes as a new photograph showed Michael joined by his family as they opened up affordable homes built on land donated by the founder. Speaking about the housing completion, he said, Hilton is really important to me. It's where I was born, where I have lived man and boy, where I have brought up my family, and, of course, it has been home to the festival for more than 50 years now. With rural house prices so often out of reach for local people, these houses give villagers, most of whom are working families who live around here, the opportunity to live here for the rest of their lives at a social rent. He added to The Guardian, I started to build these houses 30 years ago with funding from the government and now that this scheme is finished, it brings the total number of houses available to 52. Of all the things I've done in my life, this is the one I'm most proud of. Social media users reacted to the news which was shared on Gary Lineker's Twitter page with some fans sharing their concerns for the Somerset-born founder. Don't miss! Stacy Solomon opens up about complicated blended family, latest, a place in the sun's Jasmine Harman gives fans grim wardrobe insight, TV. John Irwin inundated with support over Father's Day pics as he battles cancer, health, one person wrote, sad to see Michael in a wheelchair. Hope he's okay. Great idea. Another commented, didn't know Michael Levis was in a wheelchair now. While a third penned, only just noticed that Michael is in a wheelchair. Is he okay? Others praised Michael over his latest project as they suggested he should receive an honor for his philanthropic efforts over the years. Meanwhile, in an unearthed clip released by the BBC, Michael previously opened up about the start of Glastonbury Festival which has become one of the biggest music events in the UK. In 1970, Michael hoped a festival would raise a bit of cash to help clear his overdraft. He spoke to the BBC ahead of the Piltan Pop, Blues, and Folk Festival, which would later go on to become one of the most famous festivals in the world. Michael said, I think this is the quickest way of clearing my overdraft. He went on to share that he believed his land was the ideal place for a music festival.